Halloween is in the air. Hey guys, welcome back to Morris Manor, and today, for my 300th video, yes guys, that's what I said, this is actually my 300th video on my channel, I thought I'd do something special, and so I am touring you all of Hanophobia's progress so far, since you guys didn't know, I'm sorry for that loud lawnmower noise, that's right next door, but, um, I'm gonna be touring you on Hanophobia's progress so far, and I don't have a lot, as I've been only working for two days, and I still have another few months, or I'm having until Halloween to finish it. Plus, I have this whole couch in the way with the um, <laughs> fire pit, that pool table back there. We're getting the couch out of the way. I'm going to find places to store everything else. But, without further ado, I'm going to take you on the walkthrough so far. So we just got some crazy cloth here. And actually can open the garage door since you're entering through the garage door this time. Uh, we have a little beware of the dog sign. It's all, this is all way darker, by the way. Um, but I have the garage door open, and also I'm gonna actually open it at night time, so it won't be like this light or anything. Uh, I have Jumping Dog over here who is up, but when he's back here, then he's like virtually undetectable, and he's gonna pop out, and I'm sure he's gonna scare a lot of people. Um, have these candles down here, which I think look pretty good. Just a little creepy cloth to add a nice element. Um, my picture frame, uh, candle, spider portrait is up there on the wall couple of uh, another lenticular portraits. There's one back there too, but I'll get to that area. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to get ghost candle and some kind of like guest book looking thing. I'm not going to get, um, what's it called? The like ghost writing book thing because, um, reasons. So, uh, and then I got this suitcase here, which has this, uh, like big bloody board in it, as well as a couple of lens. This suitcase here, which has this little crack through it, and I, I know you guys can't really see very well, but, and I don't even have it in here right now, but I have, a, I'm normally going to have a strobe light in here, and it will flash and make it so that that thing is, like, flashing from the inside and make, make people kind of wonder, you know, what the heck is in there. It'll be kind of cool. Uh, plus I have this little roof up here, so it's, like, a lot more claustrophobic, which is pretty nice. Then we go through into the next room, which is room 13, like, half of it, kind of. Uh, I didn't really get to finish it. Uh, that is, that is not going to be there, so don't worry. That's just kind of here for a minute. Uh, another lenticular. We have Rice in the Grave Ghoul, kind of on a bed. This tablecloth is not going to be there, but I'm just kind of working, so you know. He's going to be there. Actually, put up this blanket thing on him, too. So, like, he's just kind of, like, lying down like that, and he's going to pop up, and he's going to scare a lot of people. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we got Terror TV right now. It's covered in cobwebs, as you guys can see. I try to make it look as realistic as possible. We have Ghost... Or, um, floating candle, I'm sorry, which will actually be floating. That's just kind of a temporary area for it. A uh, flicker bulb, which I don't think will actually be there, probably. Uh, possessed wall hanger is up there. She was going to go in the sanitarium in the layouts that you guys saw. And I'm sorry, but she actually just looks better there. And I don't even know if I could put her in the sanitarium if I wanted to. So, we come through here. This, by the way, is, this is, by the way, going to be the bathroom. This is not, nothing is done in here yet. I, not even the walls. I got to... I'll start on that soon. I just gotta get some white tarp. Uh, then this is the entrance to the sanitarium. We have Untimely Death, which has this little thing because her Velcro fell off. I gotta hot glue it there again, but it's okay. I just wanted to keep a temporary solution. There's the closed sign. And here's some lights up here that actually make it thundering and have some sound effects. It's really cool. It looks really good in the dark. And then come through. And Pinkie Blue Penny is not gonna actually be here but she's just like right there. This girl is actually gonna be here, and I wasn't planning on having her in here, but with the loss of Possessed Wall Hanger, I think she looks pretty good. She looks pretty disturbed as well, if you ask me. And that's pretty good. And then there is the quarantine door. This is gonna be where I am right now, probably. It's gonna be where the quarantine starts. And um, I think it's gonna look pretty good. And then with that, I still have all this space, which is all, like, cluttered up. So with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, my 300th video special. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Panophobia haunt build. I know I haven't been doing a lot of these recently um, because they just kind of died down. I wasn't really too interested in that. I've been focused on a lot of spirit things recently. But I decided to pick it up again since I'm actually starting the haunt. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned on Morse Manor where Halloween is in the air. Happy hauntings, guys. Bye.